Hello again. Now, last week, um, I left you with a bit of a cliffhanger um, about whether or not I can turn this spinning top off um, off of its um, block successfully because there's a cherry insert um, that I wasn't sure would make it all the way to the end. So find out in this episode if I can get it right. Face mask on. Skew chisel, no, not skew chisel. Spindle gouge in hand. Slow the lead down a little bit and let's see. And to answer the question, no, it didn't work. So I will come up with a plan. Um, and this is it. I've already done it, or kind of done it. Um, I don't have any jaws small enough um, to grab hold of the spindle of the top of the spinning top so I've just given it some padding and stuffed it in the um, the spindle of the smaller lathe um, and brought up the tailstock with a with a live center um, and I've just brought it down to where the um, the cherries poking out so very carefully I'm just gonna edge that into a point it's not the finest spinning top you've ever seen in your life, but it might just do. Or not, as the case may be, it might just be easier to turn another one. Um, spinning top in the world, but you know what? I think that's not a bad rescue job. Let's see if it works. So over on what will be the spinny tray thing for our spinning top, here is the acid test. Um, let's see if it spins. That my friends, is not bad at all. I'm very pleased with that. Very pleased indeed. Splendid. Right, on with the next step. Now, the next step is going to be the base for the... for the uh, main platy bit tray. Um, right, 
this is the base of the um, the base of the tray. Um, this is going to be the bottom of the base, so I need to put a recess in here so I can turn it round in the chuck um, and um, do the top of the base where the Lazy Susan is going to go. So let's turn it round um, and then get the recess in and stuff. There we are, that's the, um, the bottom of the base done um, with my usual mark on the bottom of six small rings and the two slightly wider ones. Um, I'm going to sand it off, um, sand it back um, and then uh, just finish the bottom, reverse it in the chuck and do the top. Okay, right, um, that's the bottom of the base um, done now. Um, I've finished it down to 600 and just given it a coat of um, uh, oil and sealer and um, a bit of lathe polish. Now I need to square off the top. I might make it a little bit um, thinner as well uh, and work out where I need to um, put a little recess for the Lazy Susan. Okie dokie. Right. That is the top um, of the base fairly flat. Now I need to measure the diagonal of the Lazy Susan um, so I know how big to cut the recess in the base. And my ruler says it is 140 mil. 140 mil across the diagonal, which of course is longer than at one of the sides. So 140 mil which means I need to measure out 70mm-ish from the centre. Rough centre. Crikey, it's all over there, look. 70mm. So let's mark that. Let's see that it fits. I also need to measure how deep. I need to measure how deep um, this is because I don't really want too much of a gap between the base and the top of the uh, turn. So if I can find my calipers amongst all of this, all of these shavings, I will tell you how deep it is. Right, calipers. It is. 8.31 millimetres deep, which is, well it says in 0.33 inches. So if I do that to 3 mil deep, and the other one to 3 mil deep, then I will have a gap of 2 millimetres when the base is, uh, when the base and the top are put together. So that's what I'm going to do. But first I need to put a a shape on the on the outside, which is just going to be a straightforward. Um, okay, um, I made it. I've gone and I've made it a little bit smaller, uh, a little bit thinner again, and I've just put a little kind of um, a little round just on the edge. Now I've got to dig out the, the recess for the <coughs> for the lazy Susan, which I'm going to do with um, the parting tool because I haven't got a square end scraper. Good. Um, there's a decent gap um, between them, which gives me some leeway with the other part. Now I'm just going to go. I'm going to finish the edge, 
Uh, and then we'll be ready to start on the top. Hurrah! You don't need to see me finishing this bit, so I'll just do it. Right, here's the base. Done. Um, sanded and sealed and everything else like that and boiled. And now I've got some five minute epoxy here that I'm just going to mix up. And then just spread around kind of the, the inner ring. Careful not to get it on the bearings of course because that wouldn't be very helpful. As you can see I've already had a go and I glued the wrong side. There we are. Right, that's that. Put that into position. Give it a press down. And there we go. Five minutes time, that will all be done. Uh, right then, let's work on the top. This is the exciting bit with the, with the different colour woods. I need to find the centre, and I'll do that just by going round with the, uh, the centre finder. This particular centre finder doesn't reach the centre of this particular blank. So, with a ruler, I'm just going to Go into roughly the centre. Like so, whoops. There we go. Drill out the hole for the screw chuck. There we go. Get it on the screw chuck. Here's the blank on the um, on the worm screw, or the, the screw chuck, and now I need to turn it round. Get it round at least. Face mask on. Check it's tight. Bowl gouge. round um, around the outside um, of the piece I need to flatten off flatten off what will be the bottom of the top part of the um, table so let's just flatten that off carefully because I've got some bits protruding so I'll do it nice and gently I need to mark two recesses on here now. I need to mark the one, yeah, the one for it to flip over in the chuck. Um, oops. And the other one to fit this. So I need a, a 70 mil recess to fit the Lazy Susan. And another one, sorry, 140mm recess to fit the Lazy Susan. And um, about a 60mm one for the um, for the actual chuck so I can flip it over. Right, the first one is going to be the one is going to be the recess for the uh, chuck, which is about... 63, 64 mil. So let's mark that one on. Now the other one needs to be 140. So I need to set my radius to 70 mil. 70. 
empty. And mark that one. Okay, there's the um, there's the recess for the chuck. Now I need to do this one for the um, lazy Susan. It only needs to be in about three, maybe four mil. That's all. There we go. That's the um, the outside of uh, the tray bit done, um, and I just need to finish it um, round over this edge um, so it mirrors the other one a little bit, and then that'll be the outside done. So I'll do that. You make yourselves a cup of tea. Right. That's the outside done. Um, I'm probably going to make the whole thing a little bit thinner. But it's the end of the day. Um, it's a nice place to leave it. Um, so when I come back out to the workshop tomorrow, I'll be able to um, do the inside. But I'm really, really excited to see what this looks like on the base. Let's take a look. So there's the base. The epoxy's gone off. And then let's put... There we go, I've got about 3mm clearance, but it turns wonderfully, look at that! Let me get you a little bit lower. Can you see that okay? It's a bit wonky on the top because I haven't squared off the face yet. And then... really happy with that um, but for now I need to go and have some dinner and get a good night's sleep but before that I need to tidy up all of today's shavings and mess see you soon hi again um, it's the day after yesterday and um, I've come back out to um, to finish the, um, the spinning top and um, tray and all I need to do today is do the tray, the top of the tray, um, which I want to have a, a curve inwards like that rather than a bowl shape, a curve in to the bowl or into, into the tray like that. So gravity should hopefully Um, whether that will work, I have absolutely no idea. Um, we can, but we'll try. So I'm going to take it down, take it down, and then we'll put it back out and leave a little um, at the edge so the top doesn't come spinning off. So I'm going to try to spin the, spin the top as close to the centre as possible. Let's get going.
there's the um, there's the bar. I'm really happy with that curve. It's not too severe and it's not too flat, so that's good. Um, and if I just hold the, can you see it? No, not particularly well. I was trying to show you the um, the curve, but I'll do that later when I've got some better light. Um, looking at the looking at the inserts, I've got a few gaps. Um, which I'm going to fill up. I'm going to take, I'm going to take the chuck off, um, and then I'll just fill those up with um, CA glue. There aren't many of them, um, but I'll fill them up with um, CA glue, and then start sanding. <clears throat> In fact, while I've got the um, the tray off um, off the lathe, I thought I would have a try. <laughs> with the actual spinning top that we made yesterday. Um, and whilst it spins, it's a bit close to the dip in um, of, the, uh, of the tray. I mean, it spins beautifully. Um, but, um, I need to shallow out this curve a little bit more. I'm glad I checked that. Hmm. So, more shavings later, um, and I've got a much shallower um, curve, um, which I'm pleased with. Um, it, the, the top sits in there quite nicely now, so I'm ready to um, start sanding. Um, I'll go. I'll go down to uh, 600 grit as usual, and I'll come back for the final buffing. Mm. We're ready now for the final buffing. Um, sand it down to 600 grit, Danish oil, sanding sealer, and lathe polish, and I'm going to give it um, a buffing, and then um, a little coat of Canuba wax. So let's take a peek at how it shines up. Yes, that's shined up really well. I don't know how well you can see that. Oh well, can I... And here we are. It's done. It turns nicely. Very nicely, in fact. I'm very pleased with it. Um, it's nice and flat. Yeah, it's good. I'm really, really pleased. Um, yes, thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you um, um, enjoyed this week's project. Um, I hope to be back again uh, maybe next week with um, another one that isn't quite so um, complicated. Um, so, yes, let's see if it works, shall we? I hope so. Lovely. So, there's just one thing left for me to say. Thank you very much indeed for watching. And look at that. Lovely. Yes, thank you very much indeed for watching and I will see you all again soon and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.